guys what is up and welcome back welcome back to savmas as well i appreciate all of you guys watching these videos every single day i love reading your comments and it's just so fun so this video is going to be kind of like an etsy shop vlog it's gonna be like a work with me and i also have a bunch of stuff that i've ordered um like supplies wise that has come in the past couple days um so i'm just gonna show you that i don't know how that interesting that's gonna be most of this stuff is not like fun stuff it's just like stuff that i literally need so, so yeah that is what the first part of the video is going to be and then the second part is going to be working on some fun christmas trackers so um yay also i'm thinking i'm gonna make the christmas trackers live um like when this video goes live so by the time you're seeing this link down below to my Etsy shop and snag you some Christmas trackers. So what we are going to start with, let's see. So I ordered a lot of this stuff on like Black Friday, Cyber Monday because it was on sale. And I, while I didn't like need it at the time, I knew I would eventually need it. And I was like, I might as well buy it while it's on sale. So I did get a jumbo thing of glue sticks. Normally I get one that's like bigger than this pack, like I think like 36, but I just got this. I use this to glue my trackers to the paper um, before I cut it. Also, my light bulb over there is like flickering. So hopefully it doesn't keep doing that. All right, and then the next thing I got, all, all of this is from Amazon, by the way. And then this is a jumbo pack of labels for my thermal label printer. I have it down there, that's my label printer. And then back there on that big roll is a large roll of labels. So I guess I will open this just for shits and gigs, but I'm not gonna be using this because I still have probably like maybe 50 labels on that thing. Um, I think it comes with 200. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe it'll tell me. No, of course not. So this is my large pack of labels. And for my last Etsy launch, I did print the invoices on here as well because I've been out of computer paper and I keep forgetting to buy computer paper. But I don't hate the invoices or the, what are they called? The little slips that tell you what you buy. I don't know if they're like extremely legible, but it does save me time because I can just print them both on my label printer and I don't have to, you know, like hop back and forth between printers. Anyways, the next thing I got was a huge box of, um, what do you call these? Bubble mailers. And I bought, some of you guys received your orders in a pink bubble mailer and those were the wrong size. And I think it was pretty obvious and I do apologize about that. But I ordered those a while ago and I had nothing else to ship out my orders for my Black Friday launch. So I had to use them, I had to make them work. Still is like digging in her bed. But I was like, absolutely not. I cannot continue using these. So I did order these white ones, which boring i don't love the white and they don't seem too padded so i don't know how these are gonna work out but mm, questionable purchase these i don't think were on sale some kind of uh, i mean they have bubbles but mm, mm, don't don't love those those I don't want to take them back oh, we'll have to see about those and then I meant to close that the next things I got were pretty much yeah they're all laminating sheets so that's really exciting I know but they're so heavy okay so these are Okay, yes, yeah, these are my five millimeter laminating sheets. 
and my mom actually bought these for me she she was like i saw them in the amazon cart and i bought them and i was like thank you so each little sleeve has a hundred and there are three sleeves so there's 300 and the five millimeter are the thicker ones so I use the five millimeter for my envelopes and the three millimeter for my trackers. And I did get a comment. I did, also I just wanna, I was gonna talk about a review, but while I'm on the topic of reviews, you guys literally are the absolute sweetest in your reviews to me. Like I reread my Etsy reviews, like every single one I get, I reread it like five times. Like they are so incredibly sweet and so nice and the i just appreciate y'all taking the time to leave me a review and y'all are just so sweet in your reviews so i do want to say that i hardly ever like mention that but i literally read every single review and i'm just so thankful for all of y'all's support and sweet words my Etsy reviews are on point and I love you guys for that. So what I was going to say was I did receive an Etsy review saying that they wish the lamination on the... Stella. She's like looking at her bed. They said that they wish the lamination was thicker on the trackers. And you guys, I have played around with using five millimeter on my trackers, but whenever you have a lot of them in your binder, plus the envelopes plus the money like it gets way too thick like way 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 too thick and it's way too thick like the whole binder is just too much and it's hard to close and if you have a lot of categories and um plus the envelopes plus the money like i said like it's just way too thick so that's why i do the three millimeter on the trackers and while it is thinner like it's still really good and like i've been using my trackers in my binders for like years and i have not had one tracker ever like become like unlaminated or do anything weird so like while they are thin like you're not opening the trackers and like opening and closing oh it's just like a plain tracker like it doesn't open so you don't necessarily need it to be thick but i have played with around with it with the five and it's way too thick whenever you have multiple trackers so i did just want to put that out there but i do use the five millimeter on all my envelopes all my disney books all my um like Christmas books, all the extra little spiral books that I do, I always use the five because they are envelopes and you're constantly like opening in them and putting stuff in them and stuff like that. Okay, and then the last thing I got was more laminating sheets. You guessed it. So I did get this. I got both of these on Black Friday. So I bought these when they were on sale. And then the other ones, um, I think... I don't know if they were on sale, but those are the ones my mom got me. So I did get a pack of 200 five millimeter. And you guys, I literally can't have too many of these. Like I will use every single lamination sheet here. Like it's insane how much I go through. And then I got a 300 pack of the three millimeters. So these I use for my trackers and the five I use for the envelopes. So that is a quick little... Um, small business Etsy shop restock. And now we are going to make some trackers. Hey y'all, so I'm sitting at my desk and I was thinking about, not quickly, but quickly making up some Christmas trackers for you guys. I have this adorable paper and I have a bunch of it right here. I don't know if you guys can see. I have a bunch of this paper and I thought it would be fun to do like a beginning of this December random Christmas tracker drop. So that's what I'm going to do really quick. I've already made up some um, to see if I like them. And I think I do. So, and I already have all of these printed out. These were printed out from 
my Christmas envelope and tracker bundles. I just went ahead and printed all the paper I had. And so I have all this extra paper and I really don't want it to go to waste. So I think I'm gonna use it to make more trackers. Um, and then these will be available for you guys. So this is kind of a behind the scenes look on how I make them. I print all of these off on just a regular sheet of cardstock. I cut them, not to the exact dimensions. I just do like a rough cut like this. And then I glue them to, I'll show you. I will take a piece of paper and then I will glue one tracker here and they're cut. So some of them have a short side on one edge and then the other ones are short on the other side, if that makes sense. So I'll glue them like this. And then I'll glue the whole stack like this, all of these, and then I'll bring it over to my paper cutter over here and I will cut and then I'll use this bottom portion, which looks like this that I'm left with. And I will do the same thing. I'll glue it, do the whole stack like this, cut it, and then I'll laminate them. So I'll kind of bring you guys along as I do this. That might be fun. Um, what is this? So that's what I'm going to do for the next however long Linux will let me work. So let's get it. First, I'm going to put on a show because, or a video, because I love to have something going on in the background. So let's go ahead. I don't know what I'm going to watch today. I literally love Hoarder so much. I love it so much. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand And watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love
Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They said, say Nick, but you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They said, say Nick, but you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. I'm frozen. Neck is frozen, catch me rolling. I'm the chosen. Snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, most of y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. Favorite season, sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. Favorite season. They say, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah? I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They say, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah? I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. Yasha, dancer, prancer, and vixen. Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the beat. Bring the trees, bring the trees, put the lights up, tis the season, need no Grinch types, no Ebenezer, don't believe this, y'all need Jesus, sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season, sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season, you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They said, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back. it is it's sticker advent calendar time and we are on to day number seven i can't believe it's already one week into sadness that's crazy so uh, let's see what day seven has in store for us hopefully it's something cutie pie 
Oh my god, how did I know? <gasps> it is! Oh my god, it's a lot of dog stickers. OMG! Okay, so there's no Instagram on this one, so I'm curious if this was made by Sticky themselves. So here we have all the pups. That is adorable. That's adorable. Okay, perfect. What a great day number seven. We love to see it. All right, my friends, you guys already know what's coming next. We already know what's coming next. My beer advent calendar, let's get it. All right, my friends, you know what's going down. We're doing day number seven. Let me see if I can quietly open this. Let's see what we've got. Mexican lager. Okay. This can is amazing. I am so curious to try this out. I love like every Mexican beer, so <gasps> I'm excited about this. All right, I'm going to go chill this guy right here and then we will try it out. All right, y'all. You know what time it is. We got a Mexican lager today. I'm excited about it. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, that one's hard. Oh, that's really difficult. I'm not a fan of this. Kind of tastes like spicy. Oh, that one's hard. I don't think I can finish this. Well, I probably could, but I wouldn't enjoy it. Also, I don't know why my cheek is so red. Mm. I'm going to have to give this one like a four. And the aftertaste is real bitter. I had high hopes for you. And the can is really cute, but... Mm. I'll give it a five. Mm -hmm. 